motor nerve conduction study of the median nerve in the right upper arm. We put a recording adhesive electrode on the muscle belly of the abductor pollicis brevis. We put a reference electrode as far as possible on the first finger. We put the ground electrode as used to be in between the recording and the stimulating uh, in the wrist. To compare our results with reference values, whatever reference values you want to use in your daily practice, we need to be sure that the right distances are measured. For distal stimulation of the median nerve, we use a distance of around 7 cm in between the stimulator and the recording. I put a marker over here at the wrist. Now let's check on the screen of the Daymet machine the impedance by pressing this button. It's quite okay. I can press the recording electrodes. The impedance for the motor nerve conduction study is enough. I press again on this button. I am ready to stimulate. I'm using this electrical stimulator in my hand. On this electrical stimulator, there is a button to stimulate, but also a wheel to give a higher or lower intensity. The cathode should be pointing towards the recording electrode. By pushing on this, I change cathode and anode. I put the cathode on my marker and I stimulate on the wheel, for example, at 5, 6, 7, 8 milliampers. I give one stimulus. So far, I don't see any response. I give a small higher stimulation and I start seeing a small motor response. I go a little bit to the side, the response disappears and I go a little bit to the other side. Over here, I'm exactly over the median nerve and at the stimulation of 22 milliampers, I get a baseline to peak amplitude of 5.4 millivolt. To be sure I have a supramaximal uh, answer, I increase a little bit the stimulator by not changing the position of my stimulator and I'm looking whether I get a higher compound muscle action potential. This is still the case. I increase a little bit more, the amplitude remains the same. On the screen, the sensitivity right now is 5 millivolt per division. The sweep overall is 50 milliseconds. By just turning over here, we can change the sensitivity. Take care that the sensitivity of the proximal and distal stimulation will be the same. So now I go by next to a place for the proximal stimulation on the medial side of the muscle of the biceps brachii. At the same intensity, I give one stimulation. And I have a small answer over here. I change the position of the stimulator. The answer gets a little bit higher. This means that now I am better over the proximal median nerve. I change the position a little bit more and the answer gets even higher we see that at this stimulation, I get the amplitude the same as the distal supramaximal stimulation and supramaximal response. In order to get a good measurement of the velocity, I put a marker on the place where I put the cathode of my stimulator. We measure in millimeters the distance between the proximal and the distal stimulation. 235. The conduction is 52. So this is a normal conduction velocity. We see that the onset latency is 4.2 over a distance of 70 millimeters. So this is also acceptable. Mm -hmm.